Hey everyone, it's Luke from Night of the Tabletop. Hope you're keeping well. And today we're going to look at this announcement from the old world from Warhammer Fest. Is it going to be what we want? Is it going to be what we need? Without further ado, let's just jump straight into the video. Well, we do have some more information that we need to digest. They have said that it is still a way off. So timescale-wise, obviously I was hoping for this year we'd have some sort of announcement in regards to the back end of the year. However, obviously that isn't the case. So perhaps maybe next year is more likely for when we'll get a release date for the new Old World models and the Old World in general. So they have said there will be both resin and plastic kits and that every 8th edition fantasy army will be playable. The first two factions that will be getting their attention mainly is the Tomb Kings and Bretonia. And I'm quite happy with those two factions getting quite a lot of attention to start off with. Obviously, Bretonia and Tomb Kings from a nostalgia point of view, they're world loved. Everyone was gutted, especially when Tomb Kings left especially the age of sigma scene and there was no new models or any support for them and it'd be nice for them to put that right and we can get some new models that everyone has been craving for such a long time what they mean with the old world in particular isn't just the time that was they mean it's the area that's involved as well the old world if you take a look at the world in particular now that we all live in we have the new world, we have the old world. So the old world be like Europe, Asia, Africa, and the new world would be the Americas. And it will be set during the time of the three emperors. So that will be before the War of Chaos and eventually leading into the end times. So it is a couple of hundred years before that point, which is good. So I think they can do quite a lot of that from a law perspective as well. And the focus for the factions that they can be working on and the model support will be the ones that are involved in this region. And that is both as invaders and as defenders so that means for now we're probably not going to see a lot of support for some of the other factions that we might want um, and i can imagine that will be a bit of a bummer to some people but for the ones that are interested in paying things like the empire bretonia tomb kings obviously it's going to be an exciting time but that's not also to say that down the line if things are going really well with the sales of the old world and how things are going that this can't change obviously we know games workshop can change things of course they can it's their ip it's their game if they want to start adding more and do more support elsewhere and looking at other things and events elsewhere, they can. So I think from that perspective, you know, it's not going to all be doom and gloom down the line. And really excitingly, we have some new models to look at. And before I show you these, I want to say that I think they're absolutely beautiful. So we look at this hero choice for the Bretonia, the Bretonian Paladin. Obviously, it is a foot soldier and I quite like the sculpts. And it obviously does hint that we are going to get orcs and some support from orcs as well because... Why would they include the orc there? It'd be pretty odd if there was no other orcs about. I think the overall sculpt, I think it looks fantastic. I like the way that he's having to carry all his gear and equipment. He is just a paladin after all. He's not one of the, the questing knights or the grail knights, anything like that. Um, and the stag helmet, I absolutely love these helmets. And I think they've absolutely nailed that out of the ballpark. And even though in Warhammer Fantasy, Bretonia weren't exactly the top selling army or nowhere near it, in fact. I think it's going to sell really, really well. I think people are going to absolutely love what going to do with these. And of course, next we'll have to look at the new Tomb Kings. This is the Tomb King with a hand weapon. And what an incredible model. We know from the skeletons from the past, from a nostalgia point of view, they were great. But they also were a bit derpy. This, I think, looks incredible. And it really shows a sense of age. So obviously we know with things like the mummification process, not 100% perfect. And they've mentioned this as well in their reveal. So as you can see, metal armor takes a lot of time to break down. So you can see the gold, things like that. Absolutely looks pristine still, absolutely perfect. But as you can see through the middle of the model, you can still see the spinal column and the front piece completely missing. So it's abdomen completely gone. And I think from an aesthetic point of view, this looks incredible. It looks quite imposing, almost like, a, let's say like a, an old fashioned horror movie. And I really like that view and I like that aesthetic from them. So I think from this, they have done so well with this model. And if the rest of the Tomb Kings are going to look anything like this, they're going to do so, so well. So what's going to be next then? Well, they did show off some artwork and things like that in regards to, wasn't particularly like actual models themselves, but just some general artwork. And you did see things like peasants, you saw a Shapti, you saw Necro Sphinx. So that would hint that they're all coming back. And I'm really happy with that. I love the Yashapti models anyway. And the Necro Sphinx obviously was such a well-loved and well-received model. I think it's time for them to now start giving us a bit more, maybe giving us a bit more of a concrete date just so we can build the excitement up, build things up. Um, 
as I say, overall, I'm really excited for the old world. I'm, you know, marginally excited for the announcement we just got. Obviously, it's not exactly what I wanted in regards to this getting a date and things like that. And however, we all can't always get what we want. And let's be honest, it was always hit and miss whether we would get that. But at least things are moving on. And that is the most important thing. Let me know what your overall thoughts are. Are you excited for the old world in general? If you played Warhammer Fantasy, what faction did you play? Or if you never played, what faction do you want to play? Make sure you do subscribe to the channel. Obviously, it does help me so much. I can't be more grateful to anyone, more than anyone who has already subscribed. Make sure to drop the video a like. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm gods. Really appreciate everyone watching. And I'll see you another time.